So there it is, y'all, in all this glory. A brand new H855E Tiger Cat with a Wartal 624C head on it. So the plan was was to bring it over here on this new job. We finished the other one on Tuesday, started this one on Wednesday. Everything was moved on Tuesday afternoon, or finished moving on Tuesday afternoon. So, uh, of course, tonight I just worked Monday and Tuesday, and I know Kevin was working on that machine over there yesterday. They ran Saturday there, too, because we had those storms come in Wednesday night. They didn't work Thursday, worked Friday and Saturday. So with that machine being set back in place over there, there's probably something a little out of kilter on this one right here, which when you buy these logging machines and you buy them new and a lot of machines, a lot of times, especially on the logging stuff, it takes a little bit to get the bugs worked out of. I mean, it, uh, there's a lot of moving parts on a lot of things that's got to, uh, jive and, and work together. And if everything ain't, uh, ain't exactly right, um, uh, it, it can take you a little bit of time to uh, get the bugs worked out of it. So with that being said, there's probably something I'll be here tomorrow and I'll find out what the, how it went and all that stuff like that. But uh, uh, be interesting to see it, uh, see it run. But uh, it may be a little bit, especially if it has to have a part or something on it. Good looking machine. I looked at it up at the shop. This one is set up like the track cutter where it don't have any rollers on the top. So that's going to be nice. Not having to dig mud out of it and all. It's just got the slides on it and where it just slides. And you see the mud just builds up on the on the sides right there is all it does, which that don't affect anything because you there's really nothing to clean out on them when you uh, when you need to clean them out. And you can see that thick steel plate it runs all the way across for like a counterweight on the back of it. This one is uh, identical to that one that we ran uh, last year about this time I guess. They had one uh, B&G took it back in on a trade and we got it and ran it for a couple weeks or so I guess for them. We ran it. We ran it enough to rub the lower tile off the off the bar right there. But it didn't get ran much because it didn't knock hardly any any paint. Off this top knife right there. It all this one's got the continuous rotation and the hoses go through the swivel up there on it. So you can spin this one around and around. That other one over there, you can't spin it. It won't quite go all the way around. It's got some bump stops on it. Same head though. Uh, there's just a little bit of difference between uh, this head and that head. But not much. I mean, as far as the skeleton, is, is basically identical. You can see... It was built in uh, 1121. See, 33, uh, 3,530 kilograms. It weighs about 7,500 pounds. So on the videos, uh, it's always fun when somebody comes out here <clears throat> and they see this stuff in person. It looks a lot different in the videos than it does in person. It don't look near as big in the videos.
course all this stuff on it opens up that big clamshell on top opens so i got a hydraulic cylinder on it so yeah they got they got a cover on these here so all these lines right here are sitting under under this cover it has two swing motors on it and, and also uh got a little bit more room on this one to work on it so that Went over there. We'll walk over there and look at it. So we got single grouser pads on this one too, which is going to be a lot better instead of the doubles out here in the wood. <clears throat> the triple grouser pads out in the woods, they completely suck. Boy, they ain't no fun at all to try to get around. There's a 630. There's a grader. Oh, we're three miles back in here off the blacktop too. So any rain is gonna jank this thing up. And they're talking about storms again on Tuesday. I think this will be the fifth week in a row that we've had to dance with these storms and got a good bit of damage last week and last week's storm. So there's the 830. <clears throat> there's the 635. There's 850. So 850 is a 98 model. We bought it new. It's a 2012. That's a 2018 over there, that 830. And then that processor there, uh, February of 08, or October of 08. So if that machine over there, the new Tiger Cat, will be like this one, hold up like this one, it'll be, it'll be good. But you never know with these things, man. It's just kind of a coin toss, you know what I mean? As to how they do that ground pumping. A lot of hardwood on this track, too. Again. I don't have a lot of hardwood on it. That poplar stump, bigger. I am going to put the drone up here in just a second and fly it. You can kind of see the track. C3390 kilograms. 10 of 07 when that one was built. See, it didn't have the continuous rotation. You got lines on the side of the boom. All on the top of that one. This one has been in a great machine. 
and he has been great. She sees things cost so much money. Uh, you can get a you can get a lot more yield out of a track with a processor, even though we don't use it to cut the length. I mean, sometimes we use it to cut the length, like sometimes when we're in some really good grade logs, like really really good hardwood or some really good old growth pine and we'll cut those length like that but predominantly everything here in the southeast is set up the mills are on a tree length type system which is good because you don't have to cut up all the stuff but even with that being said um running the tree length you can still get a lot more yield out of the track with one of these now you still can with a loader and a pull through delimmer if and only if you have the right operator running the machine. It's just a, it's a little bit slower process than with the processor. And of course too with this right here, you have to have the right operator on it. Any of this stuff like this here that we run in the the uh processor and track cutter and all that stuff like that you the whoever's running them has to be good because you can't put something out here that costs you know upwards of three quarters of a million dollars and 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 it's got it's got to last you know what i mean you got to get a lot of hours on it. it's got to last yeah, some of that old nasty hardwood too. And look at that pile right there. You can see all the crooks and forks and stuff in it. Look at the butts on it. Good grief. And in the pines. That one's got good size on it. But then look at where the limbs start on it at right there. And then look at them. The pine's a little, a little rough, a little knotty too. But you can look, you can see that hardwood tree over yonder. <laughs> it's tough. Makes it fun to load, man. Dirt. There may be some rough terrain on this and in spots, but this in here don't look too bad as far as the, the hills go. Now, when you get back out, that way, like I said, there may be some here embedded in. It's pretty rough. There's a shooting house. This is, uh, there's no telling how many acres is in this block. Uh, this block is, uh, it's huge. It goes for miles or something. It's several miles and there's really no houses on it nowhere or anything it's just logging roads and woods and and of course uh people uh have hunting gloves on it and they uh, lease the hunting rights for the recreational part of things and uh hunt and carry on there's a big lake right over there i'll fly the drone up where you can see see everything here in just a second right sure but yeah there's a processor comment down below uh you know what you think so i'll include the drone footage in a, another video later on let me know what you think down below like i said in the video there um if you didn't get a chance to see yesterday's video which was saturday go back and look it up as two old john deere scrapers that actually have trees growing up through the tubs on them and i think a rescue mission is going to go down on them uh this this coming week when y'all are watching this hopefully on a wednesday uh it's going to be a uh it's going to be kind of a crazy thing to to follow along with and keep up with because logistically this is going to be uh it's going to be pretty tough because you're talking about that one 862 scraper coming in right at 50,000 pounds and not sure if the engine's even gonna run on an eight there they've been parked 
abandoned for pushing 30 years now and and i don't know exactly what's wrong with them so the engines may be bad transmissions may be bad in them or anything like that but go back to yesterday's video watch it got a ton of views on it lots and lots of views on it uh kind of the beginning process because what i was doing on that was i was kind of going and checking the machines out for another guy that's coming in here from a long distance that's going to uh be dealing with them and i'll be a part of it uh if if he goes ahead and pulls the trigger on it to do it i'll be the one getting the trees out of the out of the bowls of the machine and helping him uh recover those so it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a very interesting process to uh to say the least again like i said in the video we're still supposed to have storms coming in i got an insane amount of tree work to do i'm having to work around these storms and then these storms are happening and people having more trees they're wanting worked on and all so that's you know good for me on my end as as far as that so if, if you're in our area right here and you've got some uh trees you need some help with uh you can contact me look down below there's my email down there you can send me an email and i'll get it with you like that so appreciate y'all watching hope y'all enjoyed uh this video walk around and uh, just looking at the logging machines and get out enjoy the day we'll catch y'all later later taters